Hello, and thanks for clicking on the link to watch this uh, short video on how to do 1099s uh, in QuickBooks for Mac. Just did a video for the QuickBooks desktop side. We already have a Radio Free QuickBooks video for QuickBooks Online, so that would leave the Mac since you can't do 1099s in POS. So, um, The same wizard that is in 2012 and 2013 QuickBooks Windows for 1099 uh, is also in the Mac. The same rules apply. I'm on the Vendor Center. I created myself as a vendor. Uh, let me edit the vendor just to show, you know, key things you guys already know. You got to have an address, right? Go to additional info, make sure they got a tax ID. And of course, the box is checked vendor eligible for 1099. And that's as far as I know, all you need for now. Of course, you got to map the account, but you'll do that in the wizard. And then uh, because of 1099K IRS uh, or excludable payments, so IRS regulations, the, the 1099K payments, like anything that's, you know, PayPal, debit card, things like that, that you put in the check number field, that needs to be excluded from the 1099 miscellaneous put on the 1099K. K. This is the second year that IRS has had that. I'm assuming it's just going to keep going. Um, so I have that set up. I've done a uh, a check to me with PayPal. Right? They pay me by PayPal for some contracting services. I also have a bill payment check that has you know either to print or a number, but anything you know, not not a credit or visa or wh whatever the acronyms there are. And there's about 20 of them. By the way, if you're going to do credit card payments to vendors, uh, credit card ch charges to incur that, definitely use the uh, credit card charge uh, window because that's going to um, <clears throat> automatically be excluded, much like it works like in QuickBooks for Windows. So I have that set up. And now I'm going to go to vendors, print 1099s, 1096. And it's a wizard, much the same way, five steps. So the desktop one has six, this has five. Click get started. And you'll see there I am, I've checked myself off there. I got the tax ID, the address, et cetera. If you're missing information, it'll let you know. And then of course, the mapping of the accounts. All right, what did I use to pay them? Well, I hit contracted, I debited, you know, contracted services, which is COGS account. But you have all the accounts here and you set that up there. And that's in uh, the 1099, uh, sorry. Um, the box seven, right? Non-employee compensation, right? But I've seen people do, you know, rent and other things. But anyways, threshold 600. Right? And then let's look at the included payments. So there's the bill payment check, right? And then I have excluded payments, which would go on the 1099K, excluded from the 1099 miscellaneous. And that's the one that I have designated as PayPal in the check number field. So just like on the Windows side, right? Click next. And then there I am. Click next again, and now I can print uh, 1099s. The 1099e file service does not work with uh, QuickBooks for Mac. It works with the desktop product and QuickBooks for Windows. However, you could sign up for the 1099e file service and just fill it in, right? Uh, just, you know, manually from the 1099 you print out of uh, Mac. And then you go ahead and click done, and you're done. So that's uh, the 1099 wizard uh, for 1099 miscellaneous in QuickBooks for Mac, just almost identical to the one in the desktop. Almost. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day.